hamstring injuries. The hamstrings are a group of muscles located on the back of the thigh. Muscles of the hamstrings are the biceps femoris, long head and short head, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus. The proximal end of the hamstring muscles originate from the ischial tuberosity of the pelvis. Here you can see the origin of the hamstring muscles from the ischial tuberosity. Here you can see the detailed description of the origin of the hamstring muscles. The semitendinosus and the long head of the biceps share a common origin from the ischial tuberosity in this medial location. The semimembranosus has its own separate origin, which is lateral on the ischium. The hamstring origin on the ischial tuberosity is approximately 6 cm proximal to the inferior border of the gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus is covering the hamstring tendon proximally. All muscles of the hamstrings are innervated by the tibial or the medial part of the sciatic nerve, except the short head of the biceps that's innervated by the common perineal nerve. The hamstring muscles are a major flexor of the knee, and it also aids in hip extension. What is the insertion of the hamstring muscles? The hamstring muscles are inserted on the proximal part of the leg. The biceps is split from the semitendinosus and moves laterally to take a lateral direction and be inserted into the posterior aspect of the fibular head. It is the most posterior structure and posterior to the tendon of the biceps lies the common perineal nerve. And another muscle appears to help the biceps laterally, and that is the short head of the biceps, which does not originate from the ischium, but it has a common insertion with the long head of the biceps. The semimembranosus and semitendinosus are inserted into the proximal part of the medial tibial condyle. There is a balance between the hamstring muscles on the lateral aspect and on the medial aspect. Proximally, the sciatic nerve is very close to the hamstring muscles. It's about 1.2 centimeter lateral to the hamstring muscles. And the hamstring muscles does cover the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve lies anterior to the hamstring muscle in the proximal and middle part of the thigh. How about injuries of the hamstring muscles? Injury to the hamstring muscles primarily occur proximally and are a common source of chronic pain and injury in athletes. What is the mechanism of injury? It is often referred to as a hurdles injury. Athletes who attempt to clear hurdles are prone to injury due to excessive hamstring tension. It also occurs in running athletes, in soccer, and in football due to sudden hip flexion and knee extension, which is the opposite to the function of the hamstring muscles. What are the risk factors for hamstring injuries? Previous hamstring injury, which may cause healing by a weak scar that's susceptible 
to another injury, tighter hamstrings in the shorter leg and leg length discrepancy, decreased hip extension, severe imbalance between the quadriceps and the hamstring strength, inadequate warm-up. With hip flexion and knee extension, there is an eccentric forceful contraction and lengthening of the muscle, which causes injury to that tendon. The hamstring strains are classified into three grades, a minor tear within the muscle, partial tear within the muscle, or complete tear of the muscle or the tendon. Most hamstring injuries in adults will occur at the musculocutaneous junction, but injury may also occur at the insertion into the ischial tuberosity. Avulsion injuries can also occur where there is a severe hamstring injury and the tendon tears away with a fragment of bone. These avulsion fracture injuries are not common and typically seen in patients who are younger and skeletally immature athletes. How does the muscle heal if it is sprained or have a partial tear? The satellite cells respond to the injury and is responsible to make new muscle fibers. Clinical examination. The patient will complain of sharp pain in the back of the thigh, popping or tearing of the muscle. Ecchymosis of the posterior thigh will palpable mass in the middle of the thigh. The injury is usually diagnosed by an MRI. A sprained or pulled hamstring can occur due to insufficient warm-up time before activity. Treatment. Give the patient rest, ice, compression bandage, elevation, protected weight-bearing for four weeks, and physiotherapy. Surgery is done when there is a complete injury of the tendon with muscle retraction. The surgery is usually done early. Make the incision, find the retracted muscle and tendon, and protect the nerve. The patient will be prone and the tendon is approached by a transverse incision over the gluteal crease and the tendon is repaired with the knee flexed. Use anchors in the ischium to repair the tendon to the ischial tuberosity. In case of bony avulsion, screws may be used in selected cases to fix the bony fragment to the ischium. The patient will be partial weight bearing for about six weeks with the knee flexed to 40 degrees. By six months, 80% of the patient return to the pre-injury level of activity, function, and sports. Avoid a situation where there is severely retracted tear with the scarring of the muscle and the muscle is scarred to the sciatic nerve. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.